Welcome to part three of my three-part series of five comics you got to get right now. This one's going to show six. Stay tuned to find out what they are. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get 10% off your first submission by using the code WELOVECOMICS10% on your order form. Link in description. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. And I just got myself another long box to put some comics in. And lo and behold, what do we have that jumped in to my comic box? And uh, my cat wanted to say hello really quick. He's popping in there to see what's going on. So I thought I'd show that really quick because I thought it was funny. I look over, and all of a sudden I see a head, a head pop out of the box. That's something you normally expect to see when you are... Getting ready to put comics in a comic box. So that's what I basically saw out of the blue as I was hitting record for this video. So we have six comics this time because I found one more that I thought I would add. That these are comics you absolutely have to get. Uh, I've been talking about some of these for a long time. And if you would have listened back then, you would have gotten these a lot cheaper. But if you just found my channel, it's kind of hard to be able to do that. Especially when I shut down the original channel. So if you haven't seen part one and part two, check those out because you might not see comics that you thought would be in here that have already been in the other two videos. So check it out. So here's the first one. Now I showed the number one issue of Spider-Woman in one of the other videos. This one's one I've been talking about for the longest time. This is Marvel Spotlight issue number 32. Uh, this is a PGX graded 9.0 off-white to white pages. I paid $159.97 for this book probably about a year and a half, two years ago. But this is the first appearance of Spider-Woman and Origin. They changed the Origin a little bit in Spider-Woman number one. But this is her actual first appearance. Um, Jessica Drew is going to be in the next Spider-Man movie. So... Probably won't have her superpowers in that particular movie, but if you are a comic collector, you know who Jessica Drew is, and that is Spider-Woman. So whether she becomes Spider-Woman or not in the comics, who knows, but I'm sure that's exactly what they're going to do. I think they just want to introduce her first, so especially the non-comic book fanatic people will have an idea of who she is, get to know her before she shows herself in costume. So I wouldn't expect it in that particular movie. But if anything, the name drop says that this is a book you got to get. Uh, if you would have bought it years ago, you would have probably spent about $30 for this book. Now Raw, especially with the announcement, I'm probably thinking around the $70 to $100 range. If you can find it under $100 in at least very fine grade, pick it up. But like I always say, wait for deals. This is a book to get. Okay, next one. This is another book, especially for you Kamala Khan lovers. This is Miss Marvel number one. This is the Art Adams 1 in 100 sketch um, variant. This one is going to be a little bit on the expensive side. This is my third copy. I actually have two of these that got graded 9.8. But I won this one about a year ago because it has a little indent here. I mean, it doesn't break color, so a pressing might help it. Who knows? But I only spent $55 for this book. But uh, this is the 1 in 100 variant. This is definitely a book to pick up if you can get it. Um, expect to spend about 150 to maybe 200 for a high-grade um, book of this caliber. It's still worth getting because especially, like I said in the other videos, Kamala Khan has just been basically semi-name-dropped. I mean... Kevin Feige didn't specifically say her name, but we know who she he was talking about. So get these books while you can. Like I said, this one's going to be a little expensive, but still has a lot more room to grow. This is another book I lucked out on getting uh, when it first came out. This is going to need a pressing because when I bought it, I didn't realize it had a little bit of an indent. But that's okay. I can get that pressed. But this is absolutely a book. If you can get your hands on it, get it. I only spent um, $30 on this book when it first came out. Uh, this is Captain Marvel 
issue number one. This is the one in 25 variant. I spent only $25 in this. This is the Adam Hughes variant. This is a very popular book. Um, I think this one's got to be around the $150 to $200 mark at this point. Again, it's still a book that has plenty of room to grow. Um, sometimes you got to spend money to make money, but this is a beautiful cover. Captain Marvel is going to, um, just in my opinion, be another good Marvel movie. I guess we'll find out when it comes out, but so far the track record says that it's probably more likely to be good than bad. But if you could pick this up, find it at a decent price, especially under 100 bucks, pick it up. Okay, so three more. This is a book I've been telling people to get since 2015. I bought, and I still have probably a total of six to eight copies of this. Two or three of them I sent in to get graded, and they all came back 9 eighths. I think it's three of them. I got the other one or two in the boxes somewhere. But this, of course, is Edge of Spider-Verse 2. This is the first appearance of Gwen Stacy. This came back a 9.8. I was buying these books. When you could get them, I was paying between $25 and $30 a piece for these. And like you saw, it came. this one came out at 9.8. Absolutely a book you got to get. Um, this is going to be about a $75 to $125 book at this point. You could still find these for under $100. Just make sure you get the first print because this has, I think, at least five or six printings. So the best one to get is going to be the first appearance. And now that they've shown in the trailer of that cartoon movie, she is appearing in it. And I was warning people a long time ago, it's just a matter of time before she gets into a movie. So... I really have the feeling that even though you see her in this cartoon, that's probably not going to be the last time you see her because I guess they're probably going to see if people are excited about this character or not. And I think maybe a few years down the line, you may see her in a live action film. So again, even though this is an, this is an expensive book, it's definitely one to get. Now, I also have shown in other videos the 1 in 25 variant, which is the Greg Land variant. I just didn't feel like pulling that out because I already showed that in other videos. I mean, that's about a $1,000 book at this point. Uh, to get it raw would be about $800. So that's probably going to be out of the reach of a bunch of people. But again, if it's something you can afford, I really feel it still has room to grow because of the things that I just mentioned. So if you can afford that kind of book, get it. Or maybe try and work out a deal with somebody. Uh, this is another book I bought... As soon as it came out, I was on the shelf. Maybe I missed it by a week or so. It was on the shelf of my comic book store, and I picked this up for only $30. It's definitely worth a lot more than that now. This is Avenging Spider-Man issue number nine. Uh, this is the first time you see Carol Danvers as Captain Marvel. So this is a major key issue. You're talking raw. Good luck finding it under $150 graded you're talking a couple of hundred at this point and it's going to continue to grow so of course you're not going to see captain marvel in just one movie she's also been confirmed for avengers 4 and i'm sure she's probably going to be one of the avengers going on from that point so you're talking the ground floor of these books and just imagine if you bought an iron man book back in 2008 when the first movie came out um, I think she could potentially have that similar type of star power. I don't know if she'll get up as high as how well Robert Downey Jr. did, but she's probably going to be a mainstay for years to come. And um, this book has not even seen its full potential yet, in my opinion. So again, you're going to be spending a lot on this, but it's going to have a lot more returns. So be patient with it. It might take a couple of years. Sit on it for a little bit, and you will be still happy with the profits that you will make from that book. All right, last but not least, yet again, another book that, especially if you've been following me from my original channel, I was jumping up and down telling people, get this book while you can, because now it is no longer affordable. But if you can afford it, Again, this, you have not seen the peak of this book yet. This is Captain Marvel 17. This is the famous second printing with Kamala Khan on the cover. Now, according to this, I, I bought two of these. One I paid $40 for, one I paid $60 for. Sent them both in the CGC back in 2015. 
and they came back both 9.8s. Now this book, it's um, Miss Marvel Kamala Khan cover. It predates the all new Marvel Now number one that I showed and Miss Marvel number one. So this book predates it. Now there's another major factor of this book that you may or may not be aware of. There are only 1,000 copies of this book and that's it. So technically, there's only 998 of them out there worth grabbing because I still have my two and I'm going to be holding on to them despite what some accuse me of of selling books. I mean, you see in all the books that I've been showing for years still in my possession. So I don't know what they think I'm selling. But anyway, I don't want to even get into that. But this is a book I've been telling people for a long time, especially these days with all these female characters coming out and the fact that Kevin Feige talked about not directly, but if you if you know comics, you know who he was talking about. Kamala Khan is going to be in the future of Marvel movies. How, how much of an impact remains to be seen. I guess it depends on who plays her and how good the movies are and how good the the person that does the character is, if it's likable or not. I guess we'll find out. But again, this is years down the line. So you're talking a 9.8 of this book is about $1,000, if not more. Every now and then, you could probably find one for seven, eight hundred on eBay. If you could find one for that price, scoop it up, because uh, raw copy is going to go for about that much. But again, this is going to be out of the reach of some people. But if you can afford it, like I said, with only a thousand copies of this book ever made, this book is the book to get and the number one choice of all the comics that I talked about in these videos. So that's it. That is part three of my three-part series. If you haven't seen part one and two, please watch them so you don't miss out on any opportunities. Check some of my other videos where I, I talk about comics that you should get because I've been pretty decent at predicting comics. I mean, I've talked about Ultimate Fallout 4. I've talked about the first appearance of Gwen Stacy. I've even talked about the first appearance of the She-Hulk. Now, that hasn't happened yet, but that's another book you could still get pretty darn cheap. Captain Marvel, the uh, the DC version, which is Shazam. I talked about that. There's plenty of books out there. Get them before they talk about them in the mainstream media or they get a TV show or a movie. Because after that, you're going to spend five, ten times more than what you could if you do it now. So don't be one of those people. Don't procrastinate. And don't just follow what I like to say. Don't just follow the herd when everybody buys everything all at the same time. Because that's when you see prices skyrocket. When I was buying these books back in 2015, I paid, like I said, $40 for one and $60 for the other, and nobody was buying them. Now, good luck with buying a 3.0 of this comic for that price, which probably doesn't even exist anyway. So that's it. I want to thank you so much. I Hopefully you enjoyed this three-part series. I will have more of these type of videos to come because I know it's some of my more popular videos. People do appreciate these. And if you do, show your appreciation with that thumbs up because I always appreciate the support from you. Hit the share button and let other people know about my channel so they don't miss out on these opportunities. Check out my playlist so you could see all the other videos that I do. Hit the notification button and make sure you put... You want notifications regularly, so they always let you know. And keep coming back to my channel because I do at least three videos a week, if not more. Hit the subscribe button. Just don't hit the person next to you because we know that's not nice. And don't forget, it's not you. It's not I. It's We Love Comics. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next video. And Kamala Khan wants to say she's giving you a big hand. Ah!